Hinton Hooker, give another veteran guy in his ear so he can help learn along the process. I, I said it yesterday, I'm sorry, Wednesday, I believe it was. We talked about Teddy Bridgewater, the way he's helped Jamo, the way he helped Hooker, I guess, to a certain extent. And he's still a first year quarterback, but I would just feel more comfortable with a veteran guy in the locker room. Whether Hooker's starting over him or whether he's behind him, I just think it's, it's the move to make. If you're gonna keep, they're gonna keep three quarterbacks on this team, I'm telling you right now. Yeah. And just, the third one cannot be Nate Sudfeld. It, it, cannot, it cannot be cannot Nate be Sudfeld, Sudfeld, and I don't think it will be Nate Sudfeld. And Jake Browning had not played an NFL snap before last year. Yeah. Uh, Matt Castle had a total of 20, 23, 24 NFL passes before he started 16 games. But still, three, four so, years worth of preseason yeah, and before that moment. And, and yeah, they, he's been in the system for a year. He's been around this team for a year. He's been he's around this been coaching staff this, he's had the for playbook, a year. But he he's had, had the playbook. He's, been, he's been doing different stuff at practice. He's been doing all this stuff. I, I have I have faith in him that if it comes down to it, it would be able to. If you're saying bring somebody in instead of uh, Sudfeld, yeah, I'm fine with that. Have if you're saying pay for, for Tannehill, because like we broke yes, it down yesterday. Pay for Tannehill 100%. So you're paying $15 million to bring in Tannehill it's to be your backup. not going to be $15 million. But if it is $15 million, I, I, I mean, I still would actually, yeah, consider it, yes. And Dan Campbell has a prior relationship with Ryan Tannehill from the Miami days. But you, again, Ryan Tannehill has been on record saying he isn't here to teach anybody. For sure. So if, you're, if but that's the your whole thing is to bring in a guy to talk to job. him. That's not going to be this situation. You don't think so? now he's just turned a new leaf and he's just man Tannehill now? It's, it's definitely it's a different It's it's not where he's competing and fighting for his life. It's not that type of a situation. Here, he's kind of brought in to be a backup regardless. I think if Tannehill Whether goes anywhere, it's going to be somewhere where he could win the starting spot. I'm sure that's probably what he prefers, yeah. But if you're able, if Dan Campbell could get in the ear of him, yeah, I 100% would love a Ryan Tannehill. I mean, what if you're going to bring a veteran presence to, to be in the ear of Hendon Hooker, again, even if he ends up being your QB2, who better than Ryan Tannehill, another guy who's somewhat mobile, had playoff success? Had NFL success, at least NFL reps. That's that's all I'm asking for. Because again, they're keeping three QBs. Like you may have faith in Hooker, I don't believe that they do. And I, I just I, I think that's just a smart thing to do. On a, you don't believe that the coaching staff Bowl does. Run. I don't believe they do. No, not, what changed? not as QB two. What do you mean what's changed? He's a first year quarterback. He's going to have to go through development. They're they're on the process of, of like contending for a Super Bowl. They're not going to leave the hands. And I, again, I love Hendon Hooker, and I still have high hope in Hooker. I don't think I don't think anyone should be taken away that I doubt him at all. But that's, you're not going to leave your Super Bowl contention in his hands at this point. So moment. if they go into the season with Hendon Hooker and Nate Sudfeld as their quarterbacks, I'd be disappointed. I wouldn't. I'd be, I'd, I'd be, I'd be for, for the Sudfeld part. Sudfeld cannot be yeah. the third quarterback on this team.